Hey guys, in this video we are going to discuss about the descriptive technique of data mining. So we can see that data mining uh, techniques can be divided into two categories that is predictive and descriptive data mining that further can be categorized with some other techniques like in predictive technique we have classification, regression, time series analysis, prediction and in descriptive we have clustering, summarization, association rules and sequence discovery. So let us discuss about the descriptive technique and its further techniques in this video. So descriptive analytics is commonly used form of data analysis whereby historical data is collected, organized and then presented in a way that is easily understood. So basically descriptive analysis is the collecting of the data from various different sources and creating patterns out of the data after evaluating the data we create the models and we create the patterns from by generalizing that particular data and from those patterns we can then find out the uh, further evaluation or we can further find out the meaning out of that pattern uh, through which we can make our decision. So basically descriptive analytics is based on the past data that we have already collected and we will go, we are going to analyze that particular data. We are going to uh, make the reports on that data. We are going to evaluate that data and we are going to present that data in such form that is underst understandable by everybody in order to analyze that data and then further the other models and patterns can be obtained from that data th that were hidden uh, when the data mining was not applied to it. So basically descriptive analytics is focused only on what has already happened in a business that is we are going to analyze from the past data from the records from the facts that we have already stored and maintained and we are going to find the meanings from those data that can be helpful for us for making some other future decisions or making some other future steps. For an example, how much sale, uh, how much annual sale was there in the last few 10 years or the in last few years. So on the basis of that particular evaluation, we can find out whether our business is uh, generating the revenue or it or the graph of the growth is uh, up or down. So basically such kind of analysis can be made using the descriptive analysis. Descriptive analytics is rather a foundational starting point used to inform or prepare data for further analysis down the line. So basically we are going to use the past data evaluate it and can make further decisions using that particular pattern. Now descriptive analytics uses ma simple math and statistical tools such as arithmetic, average and percent changes. So we are going to apply on those particular data that we have evaluated. We are going to apply simple maths and certain like functions like arithmetic and average and percentage, percentage operations uh, so that we can identify our data in some other form and we can represent our data in simple way and through that particular data we can uh, then generalize the meaning out of that data. Now visual tools such as line graph and pie chart and bar graphs are used to present the findings meaning descriptive analytics can and should be easily understood by a wide business audience. So once we have evaluated the data now we have to represent that data using the graphs and pie charts so that that data can be understood the analyzed data can be understood by each and further it will it will be easy for us to analyze the data which will be statistically um, represented or which is represented with the help of uh, such graphs and uh, in, uh, basically that it is easy to identify or evaluate the data which is in tabulation form. So what we are going to do is we are going to represent the data using the pie chart or graphs and so that it is un easily understood for further analysis. 
Now talking about the applications of descriptive analysis, so some examples of how descriptive analytics can be used include the following, summarizing past events such as sales and operation data or marketing campaigns. So like previously discussed, we can take the example of how much annual sale was there in the last year and we can compare it to the current year and we can also uh, use the strategy if our if our last strategy was successful enough then we can use that particular strategy for further also so we will be evaluating and finding how much profitable was previous policy was by evaluating the data similarly we can uh, identify the marketing campaigns that were already done and we can find out how much the customer were interested at that time so that we can ahead also use the same strategies then social media usage and engagement data such as Instagram or Facebook likes. So basically, we can analyze how much a customer is interested in certain type of uh, event or in certain type of product, let us say, via the likes that or via the interest or comments of the people collecting the data from the Facebook and Instagram like applications from wherein we can get the attention uh, we can get the attention from the customers as well as we can get the information about the customer that how a particular customer is interested about the that particular trend and then uh, reporting the general uh, trends what is going on currently so how people are reacting on those trends and with uh, what is the most popular trend going on so we can analyze that particular data by evaluating the response of the customer then collecting survey results so uh, another type of surveys for business advantage for competitive purposes we can evaluate and analyze so basically uh, we can analyze the data from the past collected data facts and figures we can analyze and evaluate the data and can make patterns out of it so here are the different types of descriptive analysis uh, tasks uh, that can be further divided into four categories are clustering analysis summarization analysis association rule analysis and sequence discovery analysis so let us see all of these one by one let us first discuss about the clustering analysis so it is the process of identifying the data sets that are similar to one another basically herein we are trying to analyze the data in the form that whatever seems similar will be grouped into a particular set that is if we are going to analyze the data in such a way that those particular people are more into or those particular customers are more into uh, electronic appliance shopping those particular customer are interested into clothing or wardrobe uh, those particular customers are very much interested into the groceries so we can such a way can categorize or cluster those people into a specific group so such type of analysis is done in clustering analysis so herein for example like the clusters of customers with similar buying behavior can be clubbed with similar products to increase the conversion rate so in such a way it will be easy to analyze that uh, what is the uh, it is e it will be easy to analyze the demand of the people what people are looking for much and in such a way the business can make its further strategies now another analysis is summarization so it involves techniques for finding a compact description of a data set so basically herein we are going to collect the data in the form of um, various means and standard deviations we are going to apply and we are going to depict the data in a tabular form uh, basically we are going to collect the figures uh, from the various domains and we are going to represent it in the tabular form so that it will be easy to analyze that particular data again for example if we are going to see the death rate of a particular year or uh, because of the um, because of a particular disease let us say so we are going to analyze that particular data on the basis of summarization of the data so we are going to see what were the reasons and basically how much um, was the death rate and how much was the uh, recovery rate so we can 
uh, overall summarize the data in the tabular form and we can perform the various operations like mean and standard deviation over the particular data and can further evaluate it. Then we have uh, association rule analysis. So this method helps in identifying some interesting relations different variables in large databases. The best example is of the retail industry. So herein we are trying to find the association in between the uh, entities. Let us say we will try to find out the customers, which customer are willing to buy what type of product. So we are going to map them. So we are going to associate the pattern. So basically as and when some festive season approaches, retail store stock up with the chocolates in which sale increases before any festival time which is achieved with the help of data mining. So basically such kind of association like uh, whenever there is a festive time then the buying of the chocolate is much. So or another uh, kind of association can be when there is a discount then people shop more. So we definitely do try to find out such kind of association and on the basis of these association we try to analyze the data, we try to generalize the data and create meaning such kind of patterns and meanings from that data after evaluating that data and using those model or those patterns we can further make decisions using the data analysis. Then we have sequence discovery analysis. So it is about finding a sequence of an activity. Now, for example, in a store, user may often buy shaving gel before razor. It's all about in what sequence the user buying the product and based on that, store owner can arrange the items. So herein, we are going to analyze a sequence. That is, for example, in a marketing trend, we are going to analyze what customer shop after a particular product. For example, a customer may purchase a, a, a charger after uh, purchasing an iPhone or herein the example is enlisted that is before we are going to use any or before we are going to buy a razor we are going to buy a shaving gel also. So these are the basically sequence that customer generally follows and on the basis of that the the store owner or those who are creating the marketing strategies can make such strategies that can uh, that can increase the margin of the sales. So basically sequence discovery is the sequence of the uh, is the discovery or the analysis of such kind of pattern those are or those happen in sequence. Okay, so that is all for this particular video. We are going to discuss about the predictive analysis or predictive technique of determining in another video. Thank you.